What is going on guys? Welcome back to Enolity Technology. It's Milan over here and we have just got the Android 9.0 that's the Android Pie upgrade for the Galaxy Note 8. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is still one of the best flagship smartphones out there to buy and it's basically comes with the Android Nougat 7.0 which has already got the Android 8.0 audio upgrade last year and the Android 9 Pi is officially out here in front of you. After experiencing this Android Pi for a day, I just came across some of the excellent upgrades that this device has got. Let's take a look at this new features and the updates that we get with this latest Android 9 update for the Note 8. Just a quick important update guys. We have just launched anoilityimages.com which is a complete marketplace platform for selling images. If you are a passionate or professional photographer then please do definitely check out the link in the video description and sign up for a free seller account. Start selling your images online and reach thousands of potential users around the world. So getting back to the video. The first and the foremost, the most important and the basic thing that we get with this upgrade is the new gesture navigation bar, which has got added up, which now basically allows us to navigate our phone simply with the help of few gestures, just like the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S10 series. You can simply find this new feature under the display option in the navigation bar. I really like this feature because it's pretty much easy and also gives us pretty much the premium kind of feel. And now basically we can utilize the full screen with the full accessibility and control. In the bottom of the screen we do get the gesture hints which basically you can either turn on or off from the settings itself. If we swipe from the left button, we can simply view the recent apps while multitasking, whereas the middle upward swipe will make us to go to the home screen and makes the app run in the background, whereas with the help of the right side gesture control, it simply acts as a back button. Also we have the full control over the gestures button overlay, as we can also invert them as per our choice and easy use or convenience. The recent apps view while multitasking has got a major update which is now completely different in its looks and also while managing like the close all button is now in the center and we just simply need to swipe right or left to navigate the recent apps that we have used and now even we get the recent apps in the bottom so that we can reopen them this also added a bit cooler look to the overall ui moving up with the other upgrades that we can see which also includes some major updates in the sound and the video playback with this latest android pi upgrade samsung has enabled the latest dolby atmos sound technology for the galaxy note 8 which on listening truly makes the audio feels be more immersive and as a lively experience while watching movies or listening to the music or listening to the podcast vocals though these features can be used only when we plugged in the 3.5 mm headphone jack still it seems to be a major upgrade because it really embellishes the overall audio quality. This Android Pie also brings us a new design for the inbuilt video player and unlike the previous Android Oreo, this time the video enhancer feature has also got updated to auto. Instead of having several options like upscaling or adjust the video bitrate, this has indirectly made the things better as now we just need to enable or disable it to see the actual difference. Another best upgrade that we all may really like is basically the night mode theme has got added up. Now simply with the navigation bar we can turn on or off the night mode which almost changes the whole phone looks. As the Galaxy Note 8 has the gorgeous Quad HD Super AMOLED display, this night mode also helps out to save intensive amount of battery without even compromising with any kind of animation or background processes and even it makes the phone look more cool. As this theme submerges deeply not just with the navigation panel but also with the settings and with most of the application that are available or we have installed. 
there are few more upgrades in the motion and gesture well now we will be able to see the lift to wake option available which is now one of my favorites in my opinion even there are several other things to consider like in some cases if anyone would like to reduce the animations then now there is an option in the advanced features where they can simply enable the reduce animation for a bit faster experience which simply reduces the animation time though this does not completely eliminate the animation because that would look like a bit uglier instead it just auto adjust and reduces the animation time to make the overall experience a bit smoother and faster with this android 9.0 pi the galaxy note 8 camera has also got some major upgrades you got to see a great new flexible ui for the camera and its different modes of shooting now considering the most important factor the battery life and the benchmark performance after the android 9.0 upgrade this was the only major thing that took a bit of some more time to figure it out. In overall, after using the phone after upgrading, I found that the battery life has got improved, especially when we use the night mode theme. The battery usually lasts for a day and this is a big plus point of this upgrade. If you have watched my Galaxy Note 8 2019 review video, then you might have find that I had said that I haven't experienced a full day battery after using this device. but this this isn't the case after this upgrade. The battery is pretty much performing a bit better. Even also the benchmark scores and results has got increased. I test this device several times with the help of Geekbench and there was a significant increase in the multi-core as well as in the single core performance. Even I installed some of the most anticipated and heavy graphic games like the GTA San Andreas for Android and I found that there was not even a single performance issue that I had faced. In fact, I felt like it was a bit smoother experience than the last generation Android Oreo. Even the game run very smoothly at around 60 FPS even at the highest settings. Not just this, now there are several more options while creating a live message and also in the Bixby Vision. With this latest Android 9.0 update, the Samsung's own AI of Bixby has got updated by adding up several more abilities to make it a bit more supportive if needed in our day-to-day -day lifestyle and workflow. So these are the latest updates that we all get in this Android 9.0 Pi upgrade for the Galaxy Note 8. I almost tried my best to cover up all of them but still if I had missed any of them please let me know in the comments down below and also share which feature you like the most of this Galaxy Note 8 Android 9.0 upgrade. Subscribe to our channel Annoyality Tech and hit the bell notification for the latest reviews and trailers. And once again a quick reminder guys. We have just launched anoilityimages.com which is a complete marketplace platform for selling images. If you are a passionate or professional photographer then please do definitely check out the link in the video description and please sign up for a free seller account. We really need your support guys to get this startup grow. Start selling your images online and reach thousands of potential users around the world. Grow yourself and create your own brand identity. So guys, this was Melon from Anoility Tech. I will catch you in the next one with something new update about the upcoming devices, including the iPhone 11. For now, peace out. Trust.